I eat, therefore I am, said the great philosopher and gourmand René Descartes, who died choking on a chicken bone. Or maybe he didn't. But with that in mind, this is my eating guide to surfer's paradise on the Gold Coast. But before we even get there, the eating has started. Qantas Club Melbourne, Bircher Muesli and Fruit Salad. One of the healthier items my stomach will see for the next few days. First stop is Goldie's at the island and it's burger night. 18 bucks or 5,400 Nigerian Nairas for an Angus beef burger and chips. And it's happy hour too. Six dollars for beer pints plus some wines and spirits. It's a good burger, classic pub style, and the chips are great too. Thanks Angus for your service. By the way, the description will include links to all the joints we eat at. Okay, it's day two and we've gone healthy for lunch. Ordered in from Sushi Sushi. 35 bucks or 1,062 Uruguayan pesos for a bento box and sushi deluxe pack. Okay, I know it's a bit weird eating sushi with a fork, but they didn't give us any chopsticks. Everything here is nice and fresh, unless you see me making a dash to the loo because the squid salad gave me the squids, in which case it's not. A quick beer stop at Surface Paradise Beer Garden before dinner. We're at the Avenue on Orchid Avenue and tonight is steak night. 18 bucks or 10,380 Malawian kwacha for steak, salad and chips. Steak is a lovely medium rare, chips are crisp and beer is cold. Service is efficient and friendly, no complaints here. They also do daily lunch specials and $5 tapas from 3 to 5 p.m. Get onto it. And while I have your attention, don't forget to like this post and subscribe to the channel. For lunch on day three, we've ordered in from the Hog's Breath Cafe. The last time I had at Hog's Breath was never, so I was looking forward to this. I've gone the Southern Fried Chicken Burger and Chips for $17.90 or $690 Gambian Delasi, which proved a terrible mistake. It was by far the least crispy piece of Southern Fried Chicken I've ever had. It had the crispiness of a wet piece of celery, and I've been hit by a wet piece of celery, so I know. It would have been more crispy had I ordered it and had it delivered from Hog's Breath in Gambia. Anyway, if this is southern fried chicken, I'm a rooster. Which of course I am not. Ipso facto, this is not a southern fried chicken burger. I say stick to the steaks at Hog's Breath. After the shock of the wet piece of celery southern fried chicken burger, we needed a special treat. So for dinner we've headed to Milky Lane for their extravagant burgers, loaded fries, elaborate thick shakes and everything else. Basically a collection of things that will start thickening your arteries as soon as you walk through the door. I present to you the Milky Lane and Little Wheezy burgers, the Meat Lovers loaded fries, Biscoff thick shake and spicy pineapple margarita. Amazingly, my Milky Lane burger was also 18 bucks or about 19,530 Lebanese pounds. I'd say burgers here are indulgent compared to your standard pub burger. Definitely worth checking out, but for me, not a place I'd make multiple trips to on the one holiday. It's day four and we're back at Goldie's for their weekday lunch specials. For an Australian, it's illegal to enter a pub and not at least think about having a chicken parma. So today, that's what we're here for. 15 bucks or about 248,000 Vietnamese dong with chips and salad. My palmer is okay, but it's not great. Probably just worth the dong I paid for it. But it's not so bad that I'm not going to polish off my friend's leftovers. She'll shortly be sent to a re-education camp as it's un-Australian to not finish your chicken palmer in a pub. We've balanced out the pub food and burgers by tonight ordering in Vietnamese from Ming Ming Express. Lemongrass beef with rice, fried tofu with noodles and rice paper rolls. All up about 46 bucks or 358,000 Uzbekistani som. It's all very nice and the dipping sauces are delish. Well done Ming Ming. And we've reached the end. This is the final lunch before heading home. We're back at the Avenue. Their lunch specials run all week not that I'm a cheap bastard. 
I've gone the Hangover Burger and we've also ordered a Chicken Schnitzel or Schnitty for those of you from Rudy Hill in Sydney or Dandenong in Melbourne. Both come in at 15 bucks or 2,715 Yemeni Rial with chips and salad. It's a good burger, I'd rate it alongside the burger from Goldie's, a classic pub style burger. Although this one might be called Albert rather than Angus. Well I hope you've enjoyed this guide. I thank my friends from Nigeria, Uruguay, Malawi, Gambia, Lebanon, Vietnam, Uzbekistan and Yemen for their tips on where to go. Look out for my next guide. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And wear a helmet!